Oh, is this a hunting deal or? Yeah, it must be. Like I say, I've just seen some of these for the first time too. Life was unthinkably difficult back then, but it was honest and simple. Time seemed to have a different meaning. You know, it's been so long ago. <clears throat> it's a big deal seeing deer, you know. Grandpa was a worker. He was a visionary who lived life on his terms, who insisted he'd rather go to Ontario on the chance of finding fresh moose scat than go to a big city. Well, that's innovative, the way you flip, flop that up on that trailer. Yeah. You think anybody in the old days could think of something like that? <laughs> yeah. They doubt it. That's the garage where the guy stole the deer out of. Well, uh, Guy was from Minnesota. Lying. Naturally. Lying. <laughs> Where else would it come from? <laughs> oh, boy, look at that old sway back. Jeez. I think the stud got all of that. As a conservationist and farmer, he strived to leave the land better than he found it. But his greatest legacy, as a God-fearing man, he perhaps more than anyone I've known, left this world better than he found it. What a privilege for my old man and our buddy Gus and I to share the life and lore of William Moles. My partner needed the diaper there for a while, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we brought you. You're the color man, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>